Hello and welcome to My Yoga Playground. My name is Kay Petrie and I will be your instructor for today. So let's get started at the top of our mats. Standing in mountain pose with our arms to our sides. Standing hip width apart, spreading the toes wide and letting them drop. Finding the earth underneath our feet, all four corners of our feet engaging our inner thighs, quads, pelvic floor, shoulders back and down, eyes closed or gazing just slightly in front of us, whatever feels most comfortable for us. On our next inhale, bringing the arms up to the sky, palms together, exhaling, bringing our hands to our heart center, and then down to our sides. Let's do that a few times, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, as long as that's comfortable for us. Just warming up our shoulders, bringing our attention inward for today's practice. And one more. Bringing our hands to our sides, coming back into mountain pose. Continuing to stand facing the short edge of our mat, I'm going to bring myself so that you can see me. Inhaling, arms up to the sky for a side lateral stretch, bringing the right arm down to our sides, reaching up and over. Ex elongating first and then bending over to the side. Breathing into the side ribs, filling up our lungs. Inhaling, bringing the arm up to the sky. Exhaling, other arm down to the side. Actively reaching it up and then with our lateral flexion, we can let the arm rest on our sides or actively reach down towards the floor, feeling a deep stretch in the muscles in between our ribs. Inhaling, arm up to the sky. Exhaling, hands to our heart center and to our sides. Let's flow through that a little bit. Inhaling up, arms to the sky, right arm down to our sides. Inhaling, reaching up and over. Inhaling, arm up to the sky. Exhaling, other arm down to the other side. Let's flow through that, inhaling as we rise. Exhaling, arm down to our side. Inhaling as we rise. Exhaling, other arm down to our side. Let's do that a few times, inhaling up. Exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. One more, inhaling up, exhaling down, and coming up. Hands to our heart center and over to our sides. Good. Continuing to stand facing the short edge of our mat for a nice chest expansion, reaching behind us, interlacing the fingers if it's comfortable for us, otherwise keeping the hands out almost as if we were holding on to a large beach ball. Picture that large exercise ball in the corner here. Picture it in between your hands and press into it, bringing shoulders back and down. If it's comfortable, we interlace the fingers and we're pointing the knuckles towards where the wall meets the floor. Slight bend in our knees, gazing just in front of us. few breaths here. If we want to take it a little bit further, we can take a deep bend in the knees, hinge from the hips, bring our ribs towards our thighs, point the knuckles up towards where the wall meets the ceiling this time. Continuing to keep the shoulders back and down, working the shoulder blades towards each other. A 
On the next exhale, releasing the clasp if we, we if we've clasp if we're down, just keeping the knees deep in the bend. If we have chosen to fold over, let's reverse that swan dive, come all the way up, exalted mountain for everyone. Exhaling, hands to our heart center and then to our side again. Beautiful. The body is starting to warm up. We can swing the arms side to side very gently here. Just twisting at the waist area. Even bringing the hands to your back pocket as you go to one side and then over to the other side. Taking care that as we're twisting to start at the belly button and work our way all the way up. Keeping the alignment in our spine and moving in a way that feels good to us. One more. And coming back to center. Good. On the inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhaling forward fold, deep bend in our knees. Hamstrings and quads are still pretty tight here. Grabbing opposite elbows if it's comfortable for us. Or fingertips to the floor or shin. And gently rocking side to side. Focusing on the breath. Releasing the elbows, fingertips to the ground. On the inhale, perhaps lifting up through the tailbone, finding some length in our hamstrings, fingertips to the floor. If the floor is not meeting our fingertips, we can have two blocks out in front of us and bringing the floor up towards us. And let's flow a few times, inhaling, coming up, exalted mountain, exhaling, swan dive, hinging from the hips, leading through the heart and the crown of our head, fingertips to the floor, inhaling, coming up, exhaling, swan diving down. Perhaps finding a little bit of extra length every time we come down. Always making sure that the spine is long, we hinge from the hips, we lead through the heart, inhaling as we rise, doing what works for us today, and that might be different than what we were able to do yesterday, what we'll be able to do tomorrow, focusing on this moment only. And one more coming down, and one more coming up. Good, hands to our heart center. We'll flow through a few sun salutations, starting with a few modified and going with the full option as long as that's comfortable for our bodies. Inhaling, arms up to the sky. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling down, stepping back with our right foot, coming into a kneeling lunge, crescent lunge option if we feel that's comfortable for us today. Exhaling, coming into child's pose. Inhaling for a kneeling crocodile, or also called chaturanga, coming halfway down, and then to our bellies, lifting up for cobra, baby cobra. Exhaling, child's pose. Inhaling, stepping up with our right foot, lunge of our choice here in a kneeling option, exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling all the way up, exhaling, coming down. Let's do that again, halfway lift. Exhaling down, stepping back with the left foot this time for our kneeling lunge, crescent lunge option, pushing forward through those hips, squaring the hips to the front of our mat. Exhaling for our child's pose. Inhaling, kneeling plank. Exhaling halfway down, inhaling baby cobra, and exhaling all the way back to child's pose. 
Inhaling, left foot up. Crescent lunge option. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, let's bring that all the way up. Exhaling, forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhaling, coming down, right foot back. We're going to kneel the, go through the kneeling option one more time. Exhaling, child's pose. Inhaling for our plank. Crocodile. Inhaling, halfway lift for our cobra. And then all the way back. Good. Stepping up with our right foot for our kneeling lunge. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, back down again. This time we're going with our left side, left foot back. Crescent lunge option, otherwise the hand can come to our, th to our quad. Pushing back for child's pose. Inhaling for our plank. Exhaling, crocodile. Inhaling, cobra. And right back to child's pose. Great job, everyone. Stepping up with our left foot for our lunge. And then right back, forward fold. Probably finding a little bit of heat in our body now. Let's reverse swan dive, hinging from the hips. Arms up to the sky, hands to our heart center. And then arms back down to our sides. Very good. This time we'll move through the sun salutations, two on each side, so that we are doing the full option, reminding ourselves that we do, with, do what works for our body. So we may choose to continue with our kneeling lunges, our cobras, and our child's pose. Otherwise, follow my cue, inhaling as we rise, exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Probably feeling the hamstrings feeling a little bit looser now. Exhaling, forward fold. Let's step back with the right. Full lunge this time. We keep the knee off the ground. We can bring the hands to the quad or come into a crescent lunge option. Exhaling, planting the hands, coming back to our downward facing dog. Working the heels towards the ground, hips towards the sky. Bringing the shoulders back and down. Inhaling, full plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. If it's available to us, let's bring the right leg up to the sky and then sweep that foot in between the hands, coming into a crescent lunge. Forward fold. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling. Forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling down. This time, let's go with the left foot back. Choosing that lunge of our choice. We're pushing through the back heel, pushing forward through the hips. Knee is in line with the front big toe. Let's keep those hips squared to the front of the mat. Pushing back, downward facing dog. It's all right if the heels don't touch the ground. Keep a bend in the knees. Inhaling, plank. Exhaling, halfway down. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Let's go back. Down dog. This time the left leg comes up to the sky. And then let's step up in between the hands. Awesome job, everyone. Crescent lunge or hands to the quad. Stepping forward. Inhaling as we rise. Exhaling, forward fold. One more time each side. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling down, stepping back with the right foot. Inhaling, crescent lunge. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling, plank. Exhaling, crocodile. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Taking that right leg up to the sky, stepping up in between the hands. Crescent lunge. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up. One more time, let's go left side. Forward fold, inhaling halfway. 
exhaling down stepping back with the left great job exhaling downward facing dog inhaling plank exhaling crocodile inhaling up dog and then right back to down dog almost done with our sun salutations left leg up to the sky coming up into our lunge exhaling forward fold inhaling let's come up exhaling ah <sighs> big exhale through the mouth arms to our sides for mountain pose excellent work the lungs are pumping in the air let's find our breath again bring our attention inward one more time taking notice of how our body feels in this moment Good. let's take an inhale arms up to the sky we're going to focus on our core today exhaling forward fold let's come onto our knees and from our knees we're going to bring ourselves onto our bums to begin with let's extend the legs out <clears throat> and working to begin with on our core we're going to do a little bit of boat pose Let's begin boat pose in our modified version, bringing the soles of the feet to the ground, hands behind the knees. And this is the feeling that we want for the entire process of boat pose, regardless of the option that we choose to take. From here, let's bring the back, we're leaning backwards, until we get that V shape from our quads to our abs. As soon as we start feeling that tension, that shakiness, that's where we've reached our point. And that's the feeling that you want to have in this boat pose. We're in really engaging our abs and our core center here. Okay. We can choose to keep the hands behind the knees, reach out in front of us. So that's one option. Perhaps we're starting to shake already. That's okay for boat pose. Here's another option. Let's keep the hands behind the knees. We're going to lift up one set of toes, pointing out through the toes, and then perhaps we take the other set of toes off the ground. We still have that same V shape in our body. If we want to let go here, we can. Okay. Let's everyone come down, soles of the feet to the ground take a few breaths we can choose to do either one of those again or we can choose to go into the full version of our boat pose and depending what works for us okay we can extend the legs out fully and then let go chances are we're shaking I know I am and then coming back down really working on the strength here of those abs of our core center this is really great work and remember, even if you're here, if you're just beginning in this process, this can be just as much work as the more experienced person that is doing the full boat pose. Don't be hard on yourself. No judging in yoga. We do what works for us. As we're holding boat pose, let's make sure that we're holding the pose and not holding the breath focusing and wherever we are let's come down soles of the feet to the ground perhaps we can reach around the knees and onto the shins bring the head towards the knees and gently rock side to side releasing any tension the next series of exercise that we're going to do including this one all focus on our abs and our core center we 
we're going to flow through a series of three poses here, including our boat pose. The other one is our incline plank. For incline plank, bringing the arms behind us, fingertips pointing forward, the hands are slightly behind the shoulder. From here, pointing through the toes and lifting up through our hips, only coming up as high as we possibly can for our body. Okay? It's an inclined plank. Provides a deep stretch in our shoulders and across the pectorals. From here, we're going to lift up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up, choosing the boat pose of our choice. Good. Exhaling, coming down. Inhaling for our inclined plank. Let's do that again. Exhale, coming down. Inhaling, arms up to the sky. Exhaling, forward fold. Hinging from the hips. Grabbing onto the shins or the feet. Inhaling, coming up. Into our boat pose. Good. Exhaling, down. Inhaling. Incline plank. Let's do that again. One more time. Inhaling up. Exhaling, forward fold. Holding here for a few breaths. Let's come up again. Good. Boat pose. And then back into our incline plank. Good. Coming back down one more time. Very good. Bringing ourselves into an easy seated position here. And coming into a spinal twist. Taking the left hand to the right knee, other hand behind us, starting to twist from the belly button all the way up. few breaths here and on the exhale let's come back head first shoulders neck chest ribs and belly button and let's take an inhale exhaling we're going the other way very good inhale Exhale, let's come back to the center. Beautiful. Closing the eyes, taking a few breaths. And bringing ourselves onto all fours this time. We're going to flow through a down dog plank series. So let's tuck the toes, hips up to the sky. Feet are about bone hip width apart. Shoulders are back and down. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, let's come into our plank. Very good, we're going to hold here for a few breaths. In plank, if we have sensitive wrists, we can make fists with our wrists. Let's push through those heels, engage the quads, the core center, the glutes. Good, let's take an inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here for a few breaths. Inhaling plank. Let's hold for a few breaths. Depending on where we're at today, the option to drop the knees if we need to. On our next exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling plank, holding for a few breaths. This will be the last one of this series. Right back to down dog. Awesome, let's drop those knees, come into child's pose, give the shoulders a breath or a break.
and right back up onto all fours preparing for a dolphin plank flow let's bring forearms to the ground and the spacing that we want here if we grab opposite elbows with the arms that's about how far of a spacing we want for our elbows and then reaching out in front of us let's clasp the hands interlace the fingers and tuck the pinky finger finding a base on the floor with our forearms tucking our toes under the knees at this point are slightly just a bit below our hips and just as we do in down dog except the forearms stay to the ground we're going to push up through those hips good let's let the heart sink down slight bend in our knees for dolphin pose inhaling let's shift forward for a dolphin plank holding here for a few breaths pushing through those heels and then inhaling right back to our dolphin pose holding here for a few breaths we'll do this a few times inhaling plank push through the heels engage the quads engage the glutes and our core center and then right back to dolphin pose and we'll do one more plank inhaling good holding for a few breaths probably shaking now we can always drop the knees here too and then let's have everyone drop the knees and come into child's pose great work everyone finding gratitude for our body what it's doing for us so far and being grateful to yourself to actually get yourself moving today Good. let's come up on all fours and face the long edge of our mat coming into a kneeling side plank keeping this knee underneath our hip bone extending the other leg out foot to the short edge of the mat pressing into the foot and then bringing the other hand down to the ground pushing the hips forward so there's a straight line from the heel all the way up to the top of the head reaching the arm up opening the heart good for our kneeling side plank let's take an inhale exhale next inhale let's come up for gate pose we are windmilling our arms bringing the other arm behind the quad this time reaching up and over for a side lateral flexion windmilling the arms again on the inhale coming up exhaling side plank let's do this a few times going at our own pace inhaling up exhaling into gate pose inhaling up exhaling into side plank inhaling up exhaling for gate pose let's do a few more keeping the breath steady we're aiming for one breath per movement here checking our alignment as we flow through this let's push those hips forward we don't want that bum coming all the way back if we're doing that we're losing the engagement in our core center and the purpose of what we're doing today is to work our core center those abs strengthening our abs if we have strong abs it helps us have a strong back it helps support our back good let's come down hand to our hip and we'll switch sides this time the other foot out and really finding the earth on underneath that foot the toes are pointing forward and we're pressing to the outer part of the foot keeping a long leg hips forward good taking this arm this time fingertips to the floor or fist whatever works and then reaching the other arm up towards the sky palm facing forward for our kneeling side plank on the inhale coming up into gate pose 
reaching up first and then into our side lateral flexion, actively reaching behind us with the back hand. Inhaling, windmilling the arms, exhaling, side plank. Let's do that again, inhaling up, gate pose, exhaling, inhaling, windmilling, exhaling, side plank. Going at our own pace, inhaling up, exhaling, gate pose, exhaling, let's come into our side plank and doing two more. Great work, everyone. Hands to the hip. Let's bring both knees in. Facing the short edge of our mat this time and pushing ourselves back into child's pose. Taking a few breaths. walking the hands up, just scooching our feet out from under us onto our bums, grabbing behind one knee, bringing ourselves onto our backs this time. We're nearing the end of our practice for today. Preparing for bridge pose, placing the soles of the feet to the ground and the ankles directly underneath our knees, and our knees are bone hip width apart. When I say bone hip width apart, so you know what I mean, if you feel right here, you're going to feel your two hip bones and we want the knees in line with us. So not the outer part of our hips, but the actual hip bones. Very good, our neck is long, head is on the ground, bringing the arms down to our sides, palms facing down. Suction cupping our hands and our feet into our mat. And on our first inhale, lifting up through the hips, as high as we can, working the inner thighs towards each other, engaging our quads, taking a few breaths here. If it's available to us, we can walk the shoulders down and together, clasping the hands and working the knuckles down towards our heels. So as we are working our core center, we're also in working on stretching our pectorals and our shoulders. Taking a few breaths. And if we've chosen to clasp, let's release, untuck the shoulders and let's have everyone bring our hips down to the ground. Good. Reaching behind the knees, bringing knees towards the outer part of our body for knees to chest, gently rocking side to side. And this time kicking the heels up towards the sky, toes towards the shin for an unsupported legs up the wall, bringing the hands to our sides or to our belly. And let's work the right leg down, keeping the left leg up, not touching the floor. We're going about a few inches off the floor. Very good, holding here, inhaling, bringing the right leg up, exhaling. Let's bring the left leg down this time, creating that tension in our core center, making sure the heel doesn't touch the ground, inhaling up, exhaling, other leg down. Let's flow through this one breath per movement. One more each side. Great job, knees to chest. One more time. If it's available as to us here, let's come into happy baby pose. Grabbing, pressing the arms in between the legs, grabbing onto the shins, the outer feet, or our big toe yogi hold. Let's take an inhale. Exhaling. 
pulling down, bringing the knees to the outer part of the body, while at the same time we kick the heels up towards the sky. Gently rocking side to side if that's comfortable for us. Letting go of the clasp. Very good. Placing both soles of the feet to the ground. Extending the left leg out. Moving into a supine spinal twist. Let's shift the hips towards the right. Take the left hand, reach over and grab behind the knee. And then from here, keeping that top leg bent, just letting the leg drop towards the left side for a spinal twist. If we want to, we can extend the right arm out. much as we possibly can get right, right over and around. Inhale, come to center. Placing our hips to the center of the mat again and then switching sides, extending the right leg out. This time, let's shift the hips towards the left. Taking that right arm, reaching up over the left leg, reaching behind the knee. Bringing that knee in towards the chest and then letting it drop towards the right side for a spinal twist. Keeping the left arm extended out, shoulder to the ground as much as we can. And we can gaze out towards that left arm. If that's not comfortable, we can gaze up towards the sky or ceiling, or towards the right. Awesome, on the next inhale, let's come back to center. Bring both soles of the feet to the ground. Readjust the hips so that they're at the center of the mat. Bringing knees to chest one more time. Gently rocking side to side if that's comfortable for us. Taking notice how your body feels now as opposed to how it felt when you first started today. Feeling a little bit more energized maybe, more relaxed, more in tune with yourself and your body, your mind. Bringing the soles of our feet back down to the ground. If we have any tenderness in our back, we can keep the soles of the feet to the ground. Tent the knees in towards each other, let them drop in and experience our final relaxation here today. Otherwise, we can come into our traditional Shavasana, final relaxation, by extending the legs out, letting the feet fall out to either side, letting the whole body relax and melt into the earth and into our mats, palms facing up, shoulders to the ground, eyes closed, normal breath, Taking a moment of silence here and of gratitude for the practice that you've just experienced. Let's remain here for about one minute. I'll let you know once our relaxation phase is over. And feel free to stay in final relaxation as long as you want to. I'm going to bring myself back up to seated by rolling over onto one side and coming into an easy seated position. 
and bringing my hands to my heart center. I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Again, my name is Kay Petrie and this is my yoga playground. Go and have an amazing day. Talk to you soon.